Recording. Oh, that's loud. All right, it is six o'clock, and I am bringing this regular meeting of the Dunsmuir City Council for April 4th, 2024, to order. Everyone can please stand for the flag seat. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thank you. And Wendy, if we can do roll call. Councilmember Keisler? Here. Councilmember Deutsch? Absent. Absent. And it is an excused absence. Councilmember Bryan? Absent. Also an excused absence. Councilmember Lucchese? Here. And Councilmember and Mayor Clarno? Here. All right, we don't have any special presentations or announcements tonight, so we will move on to public comment. Any member of the public who wishes to speak will have three minutes to do so. Um, if your topic has to do with uh, anything under item number 10 or 11, uh, we do request that you save your comment for anything on those items for that time. There will be public comment for those items when we get to those items. Uh, if you would please state your name and address for the record before beginning your public comment. Um, and I will give a 30 second warning when your time is almost up. Uh, whoever, if anyone would like to go first, please approach, approach the podium. We will do in person first and then Zoom second. Uh, when the time comes for everyone on Zoom, if you'd like to speak, just use the raise your hand, which is under the um, reactions tab. Uh, good evening, Mr. Mayor, Council members, uh, members of the public, although there's very few here tonight, so maybe you won't be so strict on the three minutes. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about leadership and the agendas that we're likely to see in the next few months ahead. Um, I thought that the Siskiyou Economic Development Council did a rather excellent job putting out this handbook <clears throat> on how to exercise leadership skills if you're a local elected official. Uh, you have skills, you have powers, you need to know how to use them effectively because as it concludes, uh, economic development can only be accomplished with support and leadership from local elected officials. Officials can promote and support the strategic vision for development in the community, regardless of rank and influence, the vision for economic development is progressed towards by leveraging available resources, including the role of local leaders. And that leads directly into your retention of the Cosmot company and all the strategies that it has put forth to revitalize Dunsmuir's downtown economy. I'm obviously disappointed it's not on this agenda. I doubt it will be on the next agenda. I don't know when we will ever see it again. But <clears throat> Mr. Mayor, I have respectfully asked you to put the historic district oversight on the council's agenda on multiple occasions. Where is the city's leadership? Dunsmere Live has repeatedly sought to partner with the city to restore and reopen the California Theater. Where is the city's leadership? The group that sponsored Dunsmere's Veterans Day event, which includes Councilmember Lucchese, thank you, and the Sheriff, thank you, would like to move on to develop veteran housing. Where's the city's leadership? None of the above will ever happen unless the city enforces its empty and abandoned building ordinance. Where is the city's leadership? Democracy is supposed to be a partnership between elected representatives and those they serve. I urge all of you to speak to these issues and to tell us your priorities. What are we going to do in the months ahead 
beyond simply uh, adopting minutes and approving the checkbook. Thank you. All right, anyone else? Dwight Bailey, 5906 Castle Avenue. I'm sure glad to see the minutes of the special meeting on the agenda today. I was curious as to why they weren't done last meeting. That would be my public comment. Back to what Arthur was saying there a little bit. I do realize there has been some progress. I read in your consent calendar that you're still paying Wright and Associates to be our attorney for some of what he was talking about. I think that needs to not be an agenda item. I think the public needs to be informed about action going on with that individual. I don't think it's fair to hide that from the public by just making an agenda item. Thank you. All right, anyone else this evening? Seeing none, I will close public comment for this evening. And we will move on to item number five, council and staff comments. Sergeant Ortiz, you to us off today. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, <clears throat> the Sheriff's Office has nothing to report at this time. Thank you. Mr. Reed. All right. Okay, I'm just making sure it's on. All right, so uh, let's see, we got a list here. Um, door at City Hall is. Uh, ready for pickup we'll get that uh hopefully picked up next week and installed here in the next couple weeks library roof is uh, scheduled for next week barring any weather as we've been trying to get five days of free weather and haven't had that lately um dog tree dogwood trees um we have how many do we have 30 something 30 dogwood trees and they'll be planted in locations throughout the city um and uh in the parks and stuff like that, up around City Hall area. Um, trying to think where else we were planting them. Just a number of locations, and I'll have an update on that next council meeting. Um, we are, uh, Blake's not here. He's uh, actually, we're in the process of audit today and tomorrow. So he's working on that. Um, Union Pacific has taken down the house off of uh, Sacramento over here. And they have taken down a bunch of posts and pulled those, and they are taking down those garages up on the up on the north there. So all of that will be cleaned up. And uh, if you see red X's on any of that stuff, that's all going. Uh, hopefully, it'll be out of here by in the next week. So we're moving progress on that. Um, we have a refined estimate on the public workshop, and uh, hoping to take that to the next finance committee, so we can go for funding. Um, green waste date, uh, May 4th, will be at uh, the ball field. Uh, Stephen's on. No, he's not on tonight. Um, but I'll, I'll have him come to the next council meeting and give an update on, on the plan for that. And then um, met with uh, the Botanical Gardens, kind of our initial kind of transition coordination type stuff for maintenance side. Um, so um, Public Works will be working with them. To just you know manage <coughs> manage, uh, manage the botanical garden area, uh, met with Park and Rec. Um, haven't met with. Uh, well, I think Dennis has met with the, the homegrown boys, but I have not met with them yet. So we're working on just kind of the progress of the parks and stuff like that, and we hope to have a, a shortened budget for the rest of this fiscal year, and then we'll have uh, we might be able to fit it in this budget, but then we'll have we'll have a proposed budget for. Uh, what we're going to call parks and trails um, for next fiscal year coming here uh, here soon. So I just uh, got the budget stuff, so I'm starting to work on budget and uh, those kind of things. And that's all. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, uh, I want to clarify something. The reason that we can set the agenda for the check register and so that we're not here until 3 o'clock in the morning going over and check. It, it, it's available for the public. 
And if you want to really know about each and individual check, I suggest that you try and join the finance committee and be part of it. So that by the time you get here, you would already know what most of us already know. It's just a formality for timekeeping and time saving. It's not to hide anything. Um, I've been here 12 years, and that's just kind of the way it's done. If we tried it once before, when there was a question, it was like 11.30 at night, I believe this part was part of that one. So it's just the way that it's been done. We're not trying to hide anything. Uh, I want to put that out there. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I, uh, well, we've got the Rotary uh, mm -hmm. tournament coming up. Um, it's the 27th of April. It's mm -hmm. at the Lake Shastine Golf Course. And there's not still time. If you or your friends want to get a team and play us, I'm going to be playing this year in the team. Um, that. Um, I, I do have a request. There's been a couple of people, and I think you know, I think you might, maybe even you guys might agree with me on this. Um, I think that it would be in the city. <laughs> to put a flat park for Dale. Hmm. He, I mean, he basically worked there until he died looking there. Um, it's just something that was brought. I'd like to put that out there, hoping that any of you guys would agree with me. Um, we had like for 13 years working there, uh, day in and day out, and keep working the cloud. And he gave his full commitment to that park. And up until recently, that park was just, I remember when I drove on the grass and broke straight and set me up for the Oscar Park. One time, in eight years, it was a big deal. You don't know what else could do. This could be named every blade of grass. I think he knew trees. I think he knew the waters of the flood. It was his park. That would be a request, and I had four or five people say something to you, so I just thought I was going to do it. It's up to you. I think the ice is probably not going to be great, but I don't know if it's going to be a nice um, period of time when those skills can't do well. Absolutely. Maybe ask them if they could go back to the house and see if they could have the best way to do it. Yeah, very nice. That's all I got. Okay. All right, um, and I do have a uh, message to pass along from Council Member Deutsch tonight, um, and that is that the Building Dungeoneers Future event has been postponed until May 11th. Uh, so it will be moved from April 20th to May 11th, um, just due to some logistics. And it's also moved to the Dungeoneer Elementary School yes. in the cafeteria, uh, which, by the way, we will give a new sound for it. Mm -hmm. I will give you a little Great, right, and with that, we'll move on to committee reports. Um, I know the finance committee was, was scheduled we, two, three weeks ago and next week. Uh, so we didn't meet, but we didn't meet the I don't think we're meeting next week because Blake and Matthew are there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. All right, so no committees, and with that, we'll move on to approval of the minutes. Um, we have two minutes to approve the special meeting. Of three five and the regular meeting of three point one. I make the motion to two minutes for three five and three twenty one. It has been moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Both meeting minutes are approved. Uh, with that, we'll move on to the consent agenda, which today consists of the check register for three sixteen through three twenty nine two thousand twenty four. I make the motion to adopt. That is moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. 
All right, there is no public hearing tonight, and we will move on to item number 10, old business, which tonight is a RFP for on-call planning services. All right, Mayor and Council, uh, in uh, November 2023, uh, our previous contract planner had resigned, and uh, so here's our RFP moving forward to uh, get, uh, get a permanent uh, planner in place uh, for our on-call services and uh, replace our interim. The interim's been doing a good job, but uh, still we owe the community to put out our proposals to uh, do it the right way and select. So before we, uh, so plan publication of the, this RFP will be tomorrow essentially, and then we receive those off May 3rd and we're going to make Do you know if, uh, any of this, any of the Proposal? I do not know. Oh. So, okay. So, um, I don't Any more clarifying questions before we move no, on sir. to public comment for this item? All right, no, I will open this item up for public comment. So if anyone would like to make a comment regarding RFP for on-call planning services, um, it's the same rule as the general public comment that we had earlier, three minutes. I'll give a 30 second warning and to start out, please state your name and address. And seeing no public comment, I will close uh, for this item. I will second that. All right, it is moved and seconded. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. All right, with that, we'll move on to new business. Uh, item number A is RFP for Human Resources Consultant. All right, similar to the previous item, um, Human Resources Consultant Services, uh, Council gave uh, the directive to the RFP. Uh, and what for this one called Human Resources Services to help support the city resources. Any clarifying questions? Uh, no Any clarifying questions before we go to no. public comment? All right. With that, I will open up this item for public comment. So, if anyone has would like to speak on um, the RFP for Human Resources Consultant item, uh, you may approach the podium or raise your hand on Zoom. Three minutes, or and I will give a thirty-second warning. And please state your name and address for the record. East Side Mall 4120 Edith, I've been here 36 years. On the consultant stuff, I didn't understand this the last time you guys talked about it. So, are we paying somebody to be an human resource person? And for what? I mean, I didn't understand. I know they're consulting to what? Revitalize? They're the consultant for the revitalization, right? Mm -hmm. Not the streets. No. This is the, the revitalization. So they, they want to hire somebody to, for human resources, like to be a personnel person? I'll address that once, again, okay. once we're done with public mm -hmm. I just want to, if they are, if they are going to hire somebody, if we are going to pay them, how much? Is there any other public comment? Way Bay, 5906 Castle Avenue. The comment that I have on this, I have no objection to hiring council in the panel. But we just went through a whole housing update that we were going to give to the state. And I'd like to remind you, almost every attic 
category in that leaves the responsibility up to two people, city manager and the city manager. the consultant. My comment during the hearing, the public hearing, at the planning commission, I had asked a question. If one of the two people, the city manager and the planner, was that none of the things on the plan that we send into the state are most likely not to get done. We're not going to add four more houses or five more low income. We're not going to do a lot of things in there. It's just data that we have to give the state in order to be a good per person with them. So I think it might be proper to change the word planner to what the job description of this might apply to. Thank you. All right, anyone else? And seeing none, I will close public comment for this evening. And we'll go into council discussion. I'm confused. So really, okay. so, really quick uh, to answer some of this, so a little bit of background. I know you weren't here because um, you recused yourself, but during the closed session, um, the three city council members who were part of the employee termination did direct, um, we did take action to direct city staff to go to the third party HR consultant. We felt it was important to get someone in to assist the city manager as well as the rest of the staff with training as well as doing the paperwork because one of the things uh, that has been pointed out is there's a lot to do and there's not a lot of people. The other thing too is having a third party do the human resource consulting is it helps with employee manager issues that may arise because again it's a third party person so it's very similar to our third party um, administrative hearing officer that person is not directly involved with everybody else during the day so they're looking at it from a very objective standpoint um, and we felt that that was important that we go out for proposals to take a look at the consulting services uh, the rfp does not mandate that we hire one but we felt that it was good to go out and see what is available for the city council to hire and have that be a third party um, it just it helps us with liability sake for moving forward um, and the other thing too is this does not commit us to spending any money at this point um, so when we go out for a request for a proposal consultants will give us a list of services and how much they cost for that service um, the specific services that we're requesting to see how much they're going to be is on page two of the RFP, which is page 47 of the packet, um, which goes around to helping with employee evaluations, hiring and onboarding, management of employee records, personnel man manual, working with the union, different things like that. Keep going. Yeah. It just, There's that, 17 of them, so I'm not going to read through every single one, but okay. they're in the packet, they're in the RFP, and so we're asking for these types of services to help also with staff training programs, uh, regular communication. Um, the same thing too is that if we do get an employee complaint, this HR consultant will take a look at that employee complaint and look at that from a third party objective standpoint. Um, so again, if a member of the public has an employee complaint, this HR consultant would take over and assist with the review of that and following state codes in relation to um, employee law. That's the other thing too is that HR law, and you probably speak to this as its own, to in just a second. Yeah. Is its own uh, animal. Uh, the other thing that we have in here uh, for the request for proposal is potentially taking on payroll as well as worker compensation administration. Um, so one of the things um, Dwight had brought up is we have a very limited staff. And so having the city manager has been serving as the HR personnel so far. And so going to a consultant will open up more time for the city manager to manage the city as opposed to HR. Um, and so the payroll piece is completely optional. That's just if staff feels like that's gonna be a good use of our money in comparison to like spending time doing that. Um, so there's a couple of different options in here for, for everybody. Um, but it doesn't commit any uh, amount. So it doesn't commit us to pay anybody anything because you could get four proposals with very widely different amounts and this gets brought back. So whether we go for an on-call planner, uh, planning firm, on-call HR firm, or anything like that, it always has to come back for contract negotiation and contract approval. So there's no fees or, or amounts associated with this. It's basically like testing out your line into the lake and see what you get um, for these types of services. The mm. 
you ran a mist. So I'm totally oblivious to that, looking at this. Um, so we're going to spend some money. First we're not off, spending money yet, so we're just going out to ask. Let me back up. We could see the We proposal. just gave City Hall, everybody in City Hall, a raise. Everybody got more money because of the task. Now we're going to hire somebody and spend more money to have them do. Here, here, here's my, okay, um, uh, uh, review annual performance review process, including creating new or improved forms of necessary. Uh, uh, where's the ones? It's like, who's going to, management employees, records, assistant, you know, who's, uh, valuations and get raises and promotions and, and all the stuff I thought the city manager done. So there's a lot, there's, there's a lot of things here that it seems like we're paying to take the load off of the city staff that we just gave the raise to because they had to do all this. So Ooh, I almost cussed. Stuff. <laughs> So, uh, so I'm going to step in here for just a second. So a lot of what this uh, someone in this position does, and for those of you who aren't aware, my day job is I'm the human resources director up at the ski park. So I do this kind of stuff on a daily basis. And at this at a city of this scale and in a position like this, this is really just more oversight or someone we can call. It's like John when we have a legal question. But he ain't hey, on the, the show. Uh, no. No. The no. Not, it's on. This it's is on call. Hey, oh, okay. we've got yeah. a question. We need to look this up. Or I thought we're paying someone to assume all these responsibilities. No. Jesus Christ. I mean, no. If no. needed, they would serve in this capacity. Or at least advise us. Sure. Advise us. Or, and a lot of times, like, a, a lot of this stuff is fairly, can be fairly simple. And so they just kind of throw it in. I mean, we're just kind of throwing out a wide net, seeing what comes back. I got it. Cost wise. So, like, yeah. for example, hey, but nothing that we just went through was simple. No, exactly. And that was yeah. the point of our closed session discussion that resulted in this action is we as council members who were in that discussion gave direction that we realized we need help on this topic area. So for example, one of the things that's included in here is reviewing our personnel policy manual and recommendations for changes. I don't even know the last time we did a, a personnel manual update. It's it's a big honking like thing about you know tattoos clothing you know training updates and so it all follows those federal state and local standards for hr law as well so yes right now the city manager assumes these tasks but we realize that that's not really the, this is a, i mean michael's full time job is just this and so one of the things is we're not going to need a review of certain things every year and so this gives us it'll probably a little bit more upfront because they'd be setting up, you know, this is how you do an important evaluation, this is how you do it fairly. And I think that was the biggest thing too, is also keeping records and making sure everything is being done to the federal, state, and regional regulations. Okay. And, as well. and as someone who's just like an on call, we call the questions, but he ain't yeah. assuming all these. No. And so they, they can yeah. perform these tasks if we're requested. And one thing I have to say on all this too is that every single year it gets more and more and more and more complicated there are new laws and new you know at the state level at the federal level that Contract, some of them contractors yeah. licensing things yep. like that so um okay so is there a motion to be there here is i don't have verbiage so uh, it would it would be a, a motion to approve the recommended request for a proposal for on-call human oh. services and authorize the city manager to I'll second that. Sure. Okay. All right. It has been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So motion passes unanimously. And just really quick, we could get these proposals and they may be way outside of our budgets, but at least we want to go out and see what the cost savings could be. We may just go look. We're doing the best. Well, oh, I understand. Yes. Yeah. I get yeah. it. Throw it out and see what you get back. Yeah. All right. With that, we will move on to 11B SB1 road maintenance and rehabilitation account funding. Resolution number 2024-03 to adopt a project list to receive SB1 funding in fiscal year 2024 and 2025. All right, Mayor and Council, um, 
this, uh, this item is uh, an annual thing that we have to do in order for us to get our SD1 funding. So we identify a couple projects and then we uh, put them forward in a resolution and send it up and say, yeah, we're going to try and do this. And so would benefit deciding on a couple projects that we thought were helpful. I think, um, you know, projects we're looking at is curb and gutters, sidewalks, some spots within the city right away that need, may need repair or definitely need repair. The um, chip seal or crack seal, some of the roads, spread some of the money across to that. Um, the big one that I'd like to see is uh, lighted flashing crosswalk signs for Florence Loop and Hedge Creek and, and get some protection for our uh, traveling people to come through and visit Dunsmere to get across the sidewalk safely um, and put all of those in with that. So these are projects that we'd like to throw out to get a public comment on and see where how they feel about these options. Dennis, does this have anything to do with, are we still getting brand center repaid? Yes. Yeah, that's separate. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's that's a separate. different project. Okay, cool. That's all I care about. Man. You ride a motorcycle down the you know what I'm talking about. up for public comment on this item so if anyone would like to come up and make a public comment relating to this item um, you're more than welcome to same rules uh, three minutes 30 second warning please state your name and address for the record if you're in person please come up to the podium if you're on zoom please raise your hand seeing none I will I'm sorry. Debbie again from um, ESG and I'm sorry, I don't know his name. Dennis. Dennis. Yes. I do have a compliment for you tonight. I was going to share. Um, there was a, 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 a guardrail on Butterfly that had a hole in it or something. And somebody brought it to your attention and they wanted to say thank you that you worked on it immediately to cover it. And then you put a, a cone there and you did something else and made it safe because somebody could have done it. Thanks, Pass that along. And that you're very uh, personable. Is it? Mm -hmm. Well, you'll take all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Attaboy. All right. Any discussion? Wow. We're really only getting like. Wait. Minutes. Sorry. Yeah. One second. I didn't. Uh, is there any other public comment? Seeing none, I will close public comment on this. All right, now any discussion? We are only getting forty-three thousand six hundred and thirty-five dollars. That's it. That's it. Yep. What? Yeah, the gas tax. So. That is fiddly. That explains why we're going after lighted crosswalk signs. We're not, not going to be able to afford flashing signs at this point. Well, yeah, we can. <laughs> but they're going to blink instead of blink. They're going to be. Instead of blink, 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 it'd be blink. Flashing. Gotta wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, blink. <laughs> so I'll make a motion to adopt resolution number 2024-03 to adopt a project list to serve SB1 funding in fiscal year 2024-2025. I'll second that. All right, it has been moved and seconded. This does have a fiscal a impact, but it's call? positive, yeah, so we'll run a roll call. Councilmember Keisler? Aye. Councilmember Deutsch? Absent. Councilmember Bryan, absent. Councilmember Luke Casey? Aye. Mayor Clerno? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Well, unanimously for this. Um, and Ooh. for the quorum, exactly. All right, and with that, we'll move on to item number 12, future agenda items. Whether you have anything you'd like to add to the list yeah, other I'd than Dale's. I'd like to put on their future agenda items is a plaque for Dale mm -hmm. at the city court. And um, I'll do a reach out to family and see if I can't get verbiage or you know. Or if they want a plaque or yeah, they are doing they are doing a family service down there. Mm -hmm. It's coming up, so can apart. you let me know? Can you get a number for me to get a hold of? I'll I'll see. I'll get something from Mike. Yeah, the last time I talked with his wife was when I borrowed a bunny suit for Easter. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anything else to make? 
No, I'm just working on some things. I believe you do have the Cosmont report coming back at the next meeting. Yeah, so I have both housing element and Cosmont come back for yes. approval. Um, just to appease mm -hmm. few individuals, um, where do we stand on the vacant buildings? Is it not a conversation for this time, or? We could probably do a future agenda item in May. I, I plan on I plan on bringing it back forward as if we kind of gave a code enforcement update. What at the end of is that February, some somewhere earlier this year, and so really it's not. Uh, I mean, progress in the courts takes time, and so. I don't have a lot to update on today. Um, we did have a we did have a hearing for 4427 Dunsmuir Avenue. That hearing got continued to the 18th of this month. That's the house that burned up there, up by Lincoln Street. Right. Yeah. And so that that hearing got continued to the 18th of April, and then um, we have a number of other items that are kind of in the shoot that uh, were close, but. I don't really have any updates on them yet, so I guess. Thank you. Are you just looking for maybe a date on when the next update could be? Actually, what I'm trying to do is I see that there are a few concerned people out there in TV land that might need to be appraised. It's coming. Yeah. So I just uh, I just wanted to make it public, you know, for everybody that's watching, that uh, we're working on the vacant, distressed. Buildings. Yes, it's in progress and we're uh, close. Okay, you have been warned. Thank you. All right. I'll motion to I'll second. We need to adjourn. Thank you for coming. Thank you.